good morning, day four, on the Disney Dream in this vlog series. We have arrived in Gunnock, Scotland, where I've been before, eh, but not on the ship. So, it's a very surreal eh, moment for me, and I'll explain that shortly in a moment. But I have, well, I did wake up this morning very early for me. I was right at the top the deck at 6am this morning. Just now it's 10am, but 6am this morning I was up and I managed to witness and capture and go into the the port as it was arriving and it was just yeah, an amazing, amazing experience. So I'm going to put that clip in just now, let you see that and then I'll join you after watching that. I also got breakfast as well just after that, so breakfast at Cabanas was open. So I watched the ship dock, went and get some breakfast, chilled for a little bit and then I came back, got another two hours sleep and now I'm showered and good to go. So I'll put that clip in just now and I'll see you all soon. Yes, you can see that right, it's just after 6am. I'm awake, barely, and we are just arriving in Greenock for day four. I will have to go back to my bed I think, but this, oh, this is a, this is going to be awesome. I've kind of just stopped just now, and we are waiting for something. Look at this. Look at me, this is how tired I am. Hey, <laughs> the reason I was excited is because I came here, I think it was last year, I drove over, had a look at the ship. Not this one, I think it was a magic ship. Called Disney's Magic. And uh, yeah, now I'm on a Disney ship arriving at Port Glasgow. Um, well, Port, I keep saying Port Glasgow. Gunnock. And that, that was the kind of catalyst, the reason why I booked this trip. So yeah, it's very surreal. You know, on, on this ship arriving here because I, I got up early one day and I drove all the way out to see this ship or the Disney's Magic Disney Cruise Line ship arriving and then I came to see one leave and then now, right now, I am arriving so a bit of sentimental value here arriving in Greenock after all that time and now we're cruising along now again, we're move, moving again so I'm going to try and Get some clips and get us going. In. Well, it seems to be edging towards here. Oh, it is very cold. Apologies if the camera's a little bit shaky. My hands are freezing. <laughs> edging closer. Just look at the sunrise behind me. I've actually been away for some breakfast there at Cabanas. It's now 7am. So, productive morning. Very early rise this morning. But I'm going to go back to my bed just now. Maybe get another two hours sleep. It takes me to about 9am. And then I'm going to get up, out and about, and see what's going on. So, I'll see you all very soon. And there we go, amazing experience, such a unique experience for me, just from a different perspective. Oh, seeing the ship arrive at port, being on the ship this time, so cool. Uh, anyway, today's plan is, I'm going to go off the ship, I'm going to check Google uh, Maps, see what there is to do. There's a lot of excursions, so there's excursions that go out to Glasgow and Edinburgh and do all these things. I've been to Glasgow, I've been to Edinburgh plenty of times. I don't really go to Port, uh, Port Glasgow or Greenock, they're right next to each other. I'm going to go explore, I'm going to check the map, see what we can do, is there any museums, is there anything we can go and walk and see. 
that's the plan. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to go back in the ship. I've got a little surprise doing something on the ship and then enjoying the rest of the night with entertainment and food and whatnot. So dreaming today, day four, here at Docked in Greenock. And yeah, who knows what we'll go and see. Probably in the title of the video now. Um, but I don't know yet what we're going to go and do and see. So let's go. Right, let's go and explore Greenock. See what's going on. See what we can do. Oh. Even got the Scottish flag in the car pillow. Right, deck three. Oh, I actually just got a text from my mum. My mum has surprised me. She is in Greenock, so I'm going to go and spend some time with her and then maybe explore, maybe go to a museum or something. So, yeah, good times, good day. Hopefully, it's deck three to get off. Yeah. Oh, right. Take one. Okay. Oh, it's so surreal. It is very strange being docked up here. Oh, I just, I can't get my head around it that I'm actually here. Can't explain it. I, I genuinely cannot explain it. Just look at the size of it. Massive. Massive, massive, massive. So last time I was here, I could never, ever, obviously get anywhere as close as this. Obviously I'm on the ship now, but... <sighs> look. Look, look, look. That's all I've got to say. Oh. This was the building that I couldn't... Uh, oh sorry, this building was getting built and I was standing behind that fence looking over to the magic ship or the Disney magic This is how you can tell I'm in Scotland <laughs> William Wallace and whatnot. I'm going to walk to a museum I'm not going to tell you what museum it is just yet I might actually give it away just now It's the Fire and Rescue Museum and Heritage Centre I believe as well So I'm gonna walk to that just now. I'm enjoying these kind of tunnel mosaics. Look at all these. It's fitting that I'm on a ship. I see this. Look at this. <laughs> so admission is free. I'm walking straight away. Old fashioned fire and rescue. Look at this. Got the plaques. Fire extinguishers. Places exist. You can come around and look at the history. Good. 
gas mask, smoke helmets, it's that personal guide line, big bin, torch at a right angle. This is awesome, this is really really cool. You put the numbers there. I like here what it is, so number three being the gas mask. Just look how old these are and how good condition everything is. You can have a look inside if you wish. Yeah, I've not got to say no to that. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Cheers, buddy. This particular uh, fire engine was based in Port Glasgow just down the road, but it's typically the, the last type engine that was uh, based here. So this was from 1958. I was going to ask you what this station closed in 1960. All right, okay. So it's it's such a good condition. Outer, our wooden inner. Oh, is it right? Okay. Uh, uh, not terrifically good material, we have close to a fire, <laughs> but... That's what, that's what it was, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it's got the old-fashioned indicators on the side, just here. Oh, right, sorry, yeah, okay. And it's got a whole Zoe engine. All oh, right, okay. Quite a narrow fire engine that was designed for the narrow country. Oh, the roads. You know, if you have a look at the front, it's actually quite a nice... It's in good condition, isn't it? Really good condition. Aye. Well, yeah, that's about, such... It's under 30 preserved fire engines that we keep able to be drivable. Uh, so it still works, it still operates? It still drives, yeah. It still drives, right, wow. We had, I think we had 20 of them at the Riverside Museum over the weekend. We had a huge big festival of fire at uh, the Riverside Museum. Yeah, okay. About a 50 piece span coming from the Royal Regiment of Scotland. Oh, wow. And they're brilliant. Yeah, they're yeah. the, the Bonnock's band in Scotland, so they're based at Red Corn Barracks. They're all dressed in Highland gear, but they, can, they play everything from things fine music to bagpipe to you name it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. A little bit hidden in here. Got all the badges. Look at all the miniatures, many figures. Wow. Look at this. I like that these still exist. Like the old doors. Some safety information as well, which is really good. Oh, I just, I just love this history. You can just you can actually feel it as you walk into it. I guess well, I can anyway. Oh. Two minutes of silence. By Peter O'Neill. I love this kind of stuff too, yeah, I really do. So much history and the staff are great so come and make a visit, put a donation, accept donations because it is a free entry but put a donation in, keep it going, keep the history going, keep the history alive. Uh, the plaques. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, it was insurance companies that would buy the fire cover. Oh, and wow. they put a plaque in your building to show that you were covered because <laughs> of the fire. But they would help each other. They, some people say they'd just go by you if you didn't have the right flag. But it made cool. sense that they helped each other out. Yeah, okay. Nobody wants to have a house burned down or a building burned down. But one piece that I really interested in is what a fire station here, you had a new station just up. Right. If you go up there, I don't know if you notice the name of the wee course that goes up, it's called Drummer's Lane. Right, okay. Drummer's Course. You can't wait to be actually getting the ground out of time. Yep. That's where it originated. Oh, really? Right. Oh, well. So, we used to drum uh, miscreants out of Greenock. Oh, right, okay. Uh, 
No, that's where they That's where it came from? Yeah. So I, mean, I need to check that out. The other thing in there, I don't know if you noticed, like the floor, there was these sort of chevrons cut in the floor. No, no, I've never seen that. I'll go and have a look. Just at the back of that. I'll show you. Yeah, it's good. The expression that you have for the fire service is if you've got fire engines that are ready out the door mm -hmm. to get sent out to get dispatched, they're on the run. Right. And it's used everywhere in the world. That's the expression. Right, okay. Well, that's the run. That's where the horses uh, used to stand, yeah. hitched up to <laughs> the big, heavy steam engines. Right. And they needed something to give them some traction to get uh, moving. Okay, and that's, so that that's was the run, that's where they used to stand them. Well, let's go have a look at that. Thanks very much. Ah, uh, right, okay. So the horses would be here. So that's really cool. Just stuff like that, you wouldn't know, you'll just walk by. Right. Gonna head back out. Get the old phone. Yeah, let's see what else we can get up to. Have a look at that close he was talking about as well. Awesome. Recommend. Come and say hello to the staff and the folk. And pay this place a visit. Just walk straight in. I was all excited, but here's look at the big doors, massive doors. And then we went straight inside. I'm gonna have a look at that lane he was talking about. I think it was a drummer's lane he mentioned. So let's go have a look at that. But yeah, just thanks to the staff. The staff were great in there. So much knowledge, uh, obviously history as well, and uh, kind of ex firefighters uh, as well. But I'm gonna check out this lane. I'll check it out if you can. It's a little hidden gem. One of those ones, and uh, I'll put some information down below. And here it is, drummer's close. Here's a little sign. Look at that. So again, something that I wouldn't have known unless I spoke to the gentleman. I'm not going to go all the way up, but look at that. Right, what else am I going to go up to? It's only half past twelve. Yeah, it's half past twelve. I am still tiring with my mum as well, so I'm doing a bit of both. And uh, doing a bit of exploring as well, so hopefully you enjoy the video so far. Just next to the fire museum, and the close, here's James Watt. This is a memorial, this memorial building is erected on the site of his birthplace. There you go, James Watt. His birthplace was here. Wow, I didn't know that. So I have ended up coming in to another free museum, the McLean Museum, which is absolutely stunning. Even from the outside, it looks beautiful. I'll put some clips of the outside so you can see just now, but I'm on the second level and they've got pretty much everything like a normal museum and it's free entry honestly it's things like this that I love to do that people don't really know it exists and it's all a, a short walk from the cruise so like I said I'm on the second level just now look at this, you even get like this <laughs> I've got quite a few Egyptian items in here I've seen some Egyptian items downstairs and they, yeah, this has all been done up, it's all pretty much brand new. They've got a big library as well. Very, very beautiful building outside and inside. I'll show you the outside of the building once I'm outside, but I'm just going to enjoy walking around this just now. If I see anything cool, I will show you.
the size of that fish. So, yeah, I am just going to walk around and enjoy this and just take it easy. It's only half past two as well. I don't have to be on the ship. Talking about ships, I had to be on the ship for half past six today. Got a Nile crocodile. <laughs> Look at the size of that. That is huge. 15, up to 15 feet long. This one is 14 feet and 7 inches. This is just a garden outside of the museum. It's very well kept, very well looked after. These are the times. And if I remember, I'll put all the information in the description box, like postcodes and the name of the places that I've been today. Again, staff inside, really, really nice. Really helpful. Look at this outside, look at the building outside. Right. This has been good, a good day so far. But the rain's coming on. So I'm going to probably head back to the ship soon, not right now, but I'll be back. We're heading back towards that way. If I see anything else, I will show you. Look at that. For a shot of the ship, I was walking down the street, trying to not get run down. <laughs> Look at that. Just peeking up over the buildings. <laughs> and that's me back at the ocean terminal. So I'm going to go back on board. It's coming up for 4 o'clock. I've got a little, little surprise coming up when I get on board. So I've got this ocean terminal just before I go on to security. Got this ocean terminal area, which I mentioned before wasn't built last time I came here. And you get a great view of the ship this time. You can get this last time of the Disney Magic. We get a great view here. And who's in the back of the ship? I can see Mickey. Right, let's get back on and see what we can up to. See what I've got planned for just now, for about half an hour time. I need to be up at the top deck. Oh, I'm through the other side. Ah, so, pretty simple, pretty easy. Oh, to get through the security and everything else, no hassles, no issues. And uh, yeah. It's been really surreal, it's been a really good day, spent time with my mum, having some food. I'll put some clips in of where I had some food as well. Just like a chilled, relaxed day. Went to the two museums. Yeah, really good. The ship is still tied on, which is good. Not away yet. <laughs> so if you want to get excursions, the buses do sit here in the mornings. Obviously I never done any excursions today. But they're all, as soon as you come up the ship, just right there, the buses will sit there, you can't miss them, just in case you are wondering. This is so cool. How many times have I said that in this video? Please don't count, because it'll be a lot. Oh, I don't want to go back on board, but I do want to go back on board. 
Uh, this means the day is getting closer to ending. <laughs> oh. oh, back on board. Gonna go to watch. So I'm in deck two. I'm gonna walk, walk towards Enchanted Garden. I'm gonna go up these stairs. Go to the main lobby. Let's have a quick little look around the main lobby, see what's going on. And then go to the top deck. Yeah, so not much going on. In the lobby, area, just like a bit quiet actually, which is really good. Uh, if you want to just chill and get some good photos as well, so nothing really going on to show that I haven't shown already on this trip. Going straight up to 12 to chill and get up to something. So I'm heading through the rain at to top deck, going to deck 12 to the simulator, the golf simulator. I have booked half an hour slot to enjoy that. Something different. We couldn't get in and have a look around really on embarkation day. However, I have half an hour booked just now to enjoy it. So let's get inside. Giffy's Sports Simulators. There we go. What's the easiest course? Uh, a lot of people do Pebble Beach. Oh, right, okay. Go for that. There we go. I'm getting so at this. I'm so so bad at this. It's been a long time since I've played golf. Right, just trying to find somewhere. Put the camera. Oh. Where's that going? That wasn't too bad. That was good. Getting better. Just warming up. It's a straight hole. Right. And no. Nope, straight in the water. This is not the rain. This is sweat. I didn't think you could sweat from simulator golf. So bad. So, so bad at simulator golf. Don't know why. Anyway, it, uh, so that was only half an hour slot, that one. Uh, if I remember the price, I'll put it in the video. Or if I remember it shortly, I will mention it. Or put it in the description box, all that stuff. But yes, the rain is on. The buses are returning. It's just after 5pm. And I've had a kind of surreal day. It's been really, really good to be in Greenock. There's not a lot to do, if, I mean, you have to go to Glasgow or Edinburgh if you want to do the big tourist stuff. But I wanted to explore more local. So the, the Fire Rescue uh, Museum, that was cool. I mean, I didn't know that was there until I looked at the Google Maps. But I like to do something different. If you've been watching me, you'll know that. And that's what I try and do. This thing's different rather than staying on the ship. Go off and explore if I can. Anyway, I am going to go back to my room. I guess it's only 5pm just now, I'm going to go to my room, chill. The onboard time is 6.30. I will try my very best to watch because it's very, very cool here. People do turn out to wave everyone goodbye and wave the ship goodbye. I've seen it last time. I know the weather's a bit poor just now, but I'm hoping when we go that way, we leave that way. There'll be a lot of people to say goodbye. So yeah, I'm just going to go up my room just now, just chill for half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, even. And I'll be back out and about. Saying goodbye to the ship. So, no, no. Not, 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 not goodbye to the ship. I'm not saying goodbye to the ship. Why did I say that? Saying goodbye to Greenock. Um, 
and waving goodbye to everyone who's here to wave us goodbye. So, right, going to my room and chill. Backpack is back on, that means I'm going back out the room. I have chilled just for an hour, just sat and done nothing for an hour. Nearly fell asleep, which whew, is dangerous. Um, so I'm going to. The time just now is 20 past 6, and the onboard time is half past 6. So I'm going to go to the top deck and wave everyone goodbye at Greenock whilst we're leaving. So. Let's go and do that. Let's go. Oh, card check. Yep, I've got my card. Right. Oop. It has turned into a really horrible, horrible day. I've got some cover here. Just now, in the family zone. But, I don't like get my camera too wet. You can see everyone. Coming back from my excursions. Hopefully not getting too wet. Hopefully we're getting soaked probably. I believe the ship goes that way. And the last time I was here, you maybe see some people braving the weather just in the corner there. That was jam-packed with cars and people waving everyone away, but maybe a bit different today. Today, tonight with this weather. This is this is just horrible. It's a shame. Hopefully it stops within the next couple of minutes, but I don't see it. There is zero cover on the next deck up in deck uh, 12, I think it is. Is it? 11, 12, is this 12? I think this is 12. I don't know. I'm getting confused. I should know by now. <laughs> But I'm going to stay in this cover here, this is probably the ideal. I would love to go further up, but it one, one more up. But uh, yeah, I'll just end up getting soaked and then the camera will get ruined and all that stuff. But I will jump out and get some clips hopefully. And wave goodbye to Gunnock. Oh, I'm hoping the rain stops. It stops a little bit. Oh, it's been horrible. It's still raining. Oh, puddle. Ah, oh, now my socks are wet. But who cares? Let's see. In the back here, it's going to be very windy. I think I'm on the only person that's daft enough to be standing here right now in this weather. So, uh, it's just going to. It's going to end up going that way. And leaving, I heard some music. I heard some bagpipes playing. So yeah. Oh, it's all going on. All these brave people. All these folk. Look at these folk all braving the weathers. Oh, windy, cold. We're still tied on just now. So we have went past the boarding time. So it's 6.40 just now. And 6.30 was the boarding time. I think everyone's on board. There's no big queues anymore. There's no buses sitting there all the way. Just need to kind of wait out, see what happens. Cannot believe the amount of folk that are waiting there and the folk that are waiting up ahead as well. That's just absolutely crazy. Just, the weather is it's teeming down. I shouldn't even have my camera out. But, it's just awesome to see. Everyone get, I say this every time I'm leaving a port, but every time, yeah. It's just everyone, even in this weather, getting out and waving goodbye to the ship is awesome. Absolutely awesome, so. I'm going to brave the weather, I'm going to stay up here, I'm going to stay out in this weather and also say goodbye as well, so if you're here, look out for this crazy guy waving it back at you, so Hopefully, we are leaving 
I say hopefully, I don't want to leave, but it's very cold. Um, not long now, I don't think, until we leave. The engines are started. That only means one thing, they're getting ready to leave. Even though we're still tied on, technically we're still tied on, but the engines are rolling. Do engines roll? I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm only taking out my camera in the kind of small moments because, as you can see, the rain. So, engines are on. Hopefully, I capture the horns getting played, the music getting played on the horns. That's who we're waiting for. We're waiting for them. So, there is a bus still waiting for. So, they're still waiting for a bus. <laughs> they're half an hour late to board. I've been standing in this rain and all, all of my sun cream is washed off. <laughs> oh, the main thing, everyone's safe and back on board. So, yeah, not long now. I thought we were going there. I've seen the engines going, but they're just warming up for us. They're just warming up. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back on board. This is Captain Damir speaking from the navigation bridge, and I hope you enjoyed this day here in Greenland. Our last tour bus have arrived and we are almost ready to set sail. Woo! I expect that in the next 15 minutes we will be letting go our mooring lines 50? and shortly we will be 50? pushing off the board and then make our way out of the channel toward our next destination, Liverpool. Is that, oh, I'm very blue. There's a ship, ship or a boat right behind me there. Why am I so blue? <laughs> They're playing Disney music. I can hear it from here. I can hear a whole new world. Don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> Very blue. Oh, look at that. The bagpipe. I don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully, you can. That's a good touch. That is awesome, Disney. Or is it Greenock? Let's do that. Is it the port? It's just something about bagpipes that just touch your soul. Mine anyway. I love the sound of bagpipes and drums. It's a really good touch. I don't know if it's the port to do that. Or Disney, whoever. That's awesome. <laughs> so, all the lines are away. Absolutely amazing send off. With some music, bagpipes and drums, the band. I think we're good to go. Hey! just now as well, see if we get any waves. Oh, we're saying goodbye to everyone. It's been absolutely amazing send-off, even in the... the rain. 
absolutely incredible that everyone's in this weather. Just look, look at that, look. Amazing and look, honestly, I was here last year and I was absolutely mobbed. And you can just see, look at all the cars and look at all the people. They are just in, the, look, in this weather. Absolutely, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to drive my camera off quickly. They're playing the horn. I just missed it there. Oh, play that again. <laughs> Look at the turnout. Look at the turnout. I can't zoom my camera in just now in case I get stuck with the water. It's having a bit of an issue the moment I go there. I'm waving my torch. We even got the police there to, to make sure everyone's all right. We even folk down here as well. <laughs> incredible, incredible turnout. Look at this. Just look. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. Even though I said I wouldn't do it. I need to put my camera away before I really do damage it. But it goes on and on and on and on. Thank you to each and every one of you saying goodbye to the cruise, to the ship, everyone on the ship. We we'll really appreciate it. And now I'm going to put my camera away. Right, I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. And uh, next time I see you, I'll be inside. Don't know why I'm still outside. I'm going to the Mickey, oh, it's a new show, uh, it started on this ship as well, so the Mickey's, two minutes, my phone is soaking, so touch screen, so we have, so the Mickey's new show, Mickey's Colour Spin Dance Party, has been moved from outside, which usually would be, uh, to the inside of the atrium, so I'm going to head down there just now, hopefully dry off as well, uh, but that was awesome, thank you everyone. of that, it was fun, it was different and I, I think it's because it should be on deck 11 so I don't really know what to, to make of it but it was it was fun, it was cool, I liked it, it was different, it would be interesting to see it in its proper place but because of the weather that couldn't happen. Anyway I'm going to food now, going to the Royal Palace again and it, I think it's a different menu A royal dinner. Um, I'm gonna maybe surprise myself and get chicken. So tonight, as we have a French classical menu, my recommendation on the menu tonight is the escargot de snails. Chicken it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I will not ruin the appetite. Then I would recommend the French onion soup. 
Yeah, I like the face on French onion soup. French onion soup is one of the best soups on the menu, I would recommend. It so comes with a very big cheese crouton on the top. Then, in the main course, my personal favorite is the rack of lamb, which is medium done. Yeah? It comes with the ratatouille and little bainis potato on the side. Then, Chateaubriand, cooked to liking as well. Comes with bernet sauce and a national jus as well. The pasta, I would not recommend on that. Pasta doesn't have uh, lobster, it has just lobster pieces. Shell is the pasta. Yeah, lobster. Thank you. Thank you. So, I am going to have the breaded and deep fried brie, yeah. the French onion soup, yes, and the posh chicken duck. <laughs> Crispy roasted duck. It's heartbroken, it's like the latest breaded. I was expecting like the longer, longer ones, but that's quite cool. The square, or square, triangle. Cheese triangles. Cheese triangles. Very fancy cheese triangles. <laughs> very cheesy, very cheesy. No surprise there. I don't know if this was, was this French onion soup or just onion soup? French onion soup. French onion soup, French onion soup. French onion soup. With some cheese floating about. It's a big bit of cheese actually. Wow. It's, 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 it's bread as well. It's bread as a big Oh, is it? I thought it was a big massive bit of cheese. Bread, bread cheese. It's a big cheese. Wow. French onion soup. It's very awkward this. <laughs> Nice, that is nice. They're all going all in. Cheese, whatever that is, and soup. <laughs> yep. It's better than snails. So yeah, I don't know if I like duck or not, but I'm soon gonna find out. Nah, I'm no, I'm no enjoying it. I don't know why. What dessert should I get? Eh, uh, one of everything. <laughs> you, uh, don't, you don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would, you would, you would bring everything out. I know you would. No, no. Um, see the gato, is the gato like, like smaller, big or? Is it? Right, okay. I'll go for that. Go for the gato. Chocolate gato. I'll probably not be no, I'll not finish this either. It'll probably be really, really rich. It'll be very, very rich. Oh. Very soft. That is fresh. That's good. That's good. That was really good. The portions are really, really, really big. Oh, you stitch behavior, you behave and stitch? Of course not. That's why we love him. Of course. Always scheming, always up with something. But all of course. That's it. Always a good time. We love you, Stitch. We love you. Hey. Oh, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Right, back to the room. Straight to my bed. Oh, starting to get a little bit of a headache, a bit of a migraine. So I'm going to go straight to bed. Straight to sleep probably. Because um, another, another day tomorrow, really, really long, exciting day. Cannot wait. I'm not going to take it just now. I'm going to Liverpool. But I'm not going to give you my secrets away just yet. Right. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, we've got a creature. We've got a creature unlocking. What is that? Hmm. Is that a, is that a dog? I'm getting I'm really bad at this. Is that a dog? What do you think? Dog? Hmm? And chocolates. That's going with the collection. And there's the cousin. Is that? No, that's not. That's not the cousin. That's not a view that is. Is it? Can't be. Right, anyway. Bag off. Oh. And it's dark. Why is it dark? 
Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going straight to my bed. Really, really good day. Two museums, chilled, caught up with, caught up with my mum. Um, food tonight, show. Got to wave everyone goodbye. Got soaking wet. Yeah, good day all around. Uh, tomorrow we are stopping at Liverpool. I am up early. I'm doing something very special. I've booked an excursion, so I'm not seeing what it is. Uh, you just need to subscribe and join me for tomorrow's video. So, as always, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the comments and everything like that that you've been sending while I'm on this trip. And until tomorrow's video, I will see you all then. Bye bye.